Hello everyone, this is Brian Begley with NCloud9, bringing you another Dynamics 365 sales video. Today we are going to discuss using the product catalog with opportunities to more accurately forecast our pipeline as well as to create quotes to mail to our clients. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps out. Now let's get started. Now I always say when I'm working with an opportunity that there are two pieces of information that are the most important in a CRM opportunity. And they are here, the estimated close date and the estimated revenue for an opportunity. Now you can type in your estimated close date just by using your calendar. We're going to set this to April 24th. And then you could just type in your estimated revenue. And so we'll say this is a $15,000 opportunity. Now I just base this estimated revenue off of a good feeling from meeting with this prospect, but I really don't know how much my estimated revenue is because I don't have my products added into this opportunity. So if I want to have a more exact value for this opportunity and be able to do better forecasting off of the opportunities, I want to start putting in the products related to this opportunity. The way we do that, pretty straightforward. We go to the products tab. And when we go to the products tab, there's a grid that allows us to start adding the product. Now there's two pieces of information we need before we get started. We need to assign a price list. And in this case, we're going to do the Contoso coffee price list. And then we need to change how our revenue is calculated. Right now we're using user provided, which is when I filled in the $15,000 in the header. We could also, if we want to add our products in, we would change our revenue from user provided to system calculated. Once we've done that, we start adding our products in, it will recalculate the estimated revenue for us. The second I changed it from user provided to system calculated, the revenue amount recalculated and went back to zero because I have no products in here. Now this client has said they're looking for five Cafe A-100 automatic brewers. I'm going to click on my add product in the product subgrid and I'm going to start looking for a product. Cafe A-100, there it is. They want five of these. I'm going to type in the price per unit is $21,900. i am going to set my quantity to five and then I'm going to type and save that to the record. Now, it's kind of a hard way to add products to an opportunity if you have many, many products to add. So I'm going to show you a trick that your system administrator can configure in order to make it easier to add multiple products to an opportunity all at once. The trick is to go to the sales app settings in the sales hub, scroll down to the product catalog settings, and then we want to turn on the enhanced experience for adding products. And I'm going to show you how that works. I'm going to save this and we're going to refresh our screen now. We're going to just do a quick refresh of Dynamics 365. We're going to go back to our opportunity that we were just working on. I'm going to go to recent and open up this opportunity and I'm in here and right now you can see our estimated revenue is set to $109,500 because we added five of the Cafe A100 automatic. I can add additional products now by clicking on the add products button. We're going to get the enhanced products experience and here is my favorite screen for adding products. What this shows me, all of my products, I can add multiple products in all at the same time. I can change the quantities. I can go to different product families. So if you saw our previous video on setting up the product catalog, you saw we created a couple of product families for brewing accessories and for the coffee blends. So in addition to the five products we've already selected, we want to search under brewing accessories. We want to add a few boxes of coffee filters. So we're going to add 20 boxes of coffee filters. We're going to go to our coffee blend. We're going to add one pound of our Cuban coffee blend. And then I'm going to go back up to our brewing or brewers product page. And maybe we're going to add in one of our cafe PG ones. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say we're going to add three of those. I'm going to click add. Now in the upper right corner here, we can click on this and see a summary of what we are adding to our quote. We can go in and change quantity. So if instead of one coffee blend of Cuban, we can change that to 50 pounds and we can click save to opportunity. And now we've added all these products to the opportunity. We have four different products. They total 122,397. If I want to, and I have the security role, I can go in and make changes to the product. So for example, I can override the pricing instead of charging them $16, I could say, 
because they bought so much, I'm gonna reduce the price to $12 per pound. And that's controlled by a security role. So you can allow or disallow the ability to do that. When I've created this opportunity, when I've added these products, I could then create a quote for my clients. To create a quote, I move from the products tab to the quote tab. I choose new quote, and it's gonna create a quote record for this opportunity with all the products that we've added to the opportunity included. In our ribbon here, we have a button export to PDF. It will create a quote summary document for me that I could then send off via email to the customer. So I can click on export to PDF, choose the document I create, send it via email, and deliver the quote directly to the customer. Now, of course, there's a lot of enhancements we could work on here, and we'll talk about some of these in future videos. You might want to customize the quote document that you receive out of Dynamics. You might want to use electronic signatures on quotes, and then you might want to integrate this with another ERP system like Business Central so that once you create a quote and it's accepted by your client, that it automatically gets pushed to Business Central. But I hope that you can see that the Dynamics product catalog with opportunities and quotes sure makes things a lot easier to send out accurate quotes to your clients while also making sure you have the best possible pipeline reporting whatsoever. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget, visit NCloud9 for lots more Dynamics 365 and Power Platform content. This is Brian Begley, and we look forward to catching up with you in our next video.